All right, this video is to show you how to install the uh, latest Power SDR revisions, the uh, KE9NS revisions. So I've gone to the KE9NS uh, Flex page website, and you see the first link is your standard version. The link below is for the DJ console version. I separated them because I don't know how it reacts if you don't have a DJ console. And then if you click on the the last item it actually goes down to the revision history so you can see what the difference is between the revisions <clears throat> there's a video on uh, some of the features uh, the latest on the waterfall alright so when you've downloaded make sure when you click on it you save to your desktop and then you're gonna get a zip file okay now your icon might look a little different than this one but open it up You'll see some files in there. There's a README file in there, but the main thing is you take your Power SDR icon, you right click on that, open file location. So that's the file location where Power SDR actually resides. And then you can rename these files if you want. But you notice <clears throat> there's a the Power SDR.exe.config needs to go in there with power sdr it needs to go in there now if i change the name like i changed i changed the uh, dj console to uh, power sdr underscore dj i have to create a config i have to take this config and do a control c control v and i i need administrative privileges so i click continue and it makes a copy of it now i can right click on that and do a rename and i can rename right here underscore DJ and I gotta get rid of this copy part like that so now I've got a par SDR DJ exe config and then the regular the regular one so now I got two different par SDRs I can run just by clicking on the, the you know the uh, exe file and then I can make a shortcut if I want to the desktop let's say for the DJ version right click and then do send to desktop create shortcut and then that'll put a shortcut here so now I got my choice I can launch either the regular power SDR or the one with the DJ console you can do that for the different iterations of, of power SDR but you only need to copy the config file one time it's never gonna change and again, this is just the README file, and then this test BMP, that's for the waterfall. If you want to try a waterfall image, what you need to do is you need to put a, a link on your desktop that goes to the file where the waterfall and your quick audio, where they go. It's, it's a handy thing to have on your desktop, a link to it anyways. And that would be your username instead of radio. App data roaming, Flux Radio Systems, Power SDR. So you would put any bitmap 24-bit resolution bitmap in there um, now you can launch your power SDR and if you don't have net 4.5.2 you can um, Google Microsoft net 4.5.2 download and just download it it's free and it doesn't take that long but the idea is that the now the uh, uh, waterfall transmit that transmits images is going to look in that folder that we put that bitmap in and uh, you just put a period after any name that would represent the uh, represent the file that we copied over that we put in there like test dot you don't you don't put the BMP in there just the test dot and then it'll search this folder for bitmaps and and transmit them and that's it